Now let's talk about some DK sports book odds. Um, are there any? Give me some. Sh- are, who's the shortest odds guy that you like this week? Who do you got uh, okay. on the shorty? So, sh- the shorty odds. Yeah, you always hate throwing out the short odds, but you know what? I got a couple, couple weeks. A couple weeks ago at Pebble Beach, I mentioned Phil Mickelson at twenty five to one, and it hit. I mentioned I that I mentioned on this it. show. I thought I mentioned. No, him. no, I did. I had him. I thought I mentioned him. No, you had him, but I mentioned him on the show. We check, can check the tape. tape. Is it Luke? Hey, Luke, go go check on that. Um, but I like Mickelson again at twenty five to one. I think those odds are are you know not where they should be. I think he could definitely be shorter than that when you look at the way he's played. You know, basically he's he's won an event this year, almost won two events. He's been in good recent form. He won this event last year, so I think that that's those are pretty good odds for him at twenty five to one. So that's the shortest I'm going to go. But I also mentioned Fleetwood. I like Fleetwood at thirty three to one. I think those are great odds. That's a guy that can Agree win that here. One. Um, I love that. So as far as the, the two shorter guys, uh, I like some Fleetwood and I like some Mickelson. Fleetwood was one of mine. I'm a big fan of him. I also like Terrell Hatton at 50 to one back to back top tens at this event. Um, apparently likes the club to golf Chapultepec when he's not crapping his pants, as we saw a couple years ago. Uh, he had a little issue there. Um, but 50 to 1, I think, is a good, good spot on him. He's also been playing some good golf here lately anyway. Always dangerous with the flat stick. He can get the putter really rolling. So if he gets hot with the putter, uh, everybody's going to have to watch out. And, and again, he's not a super long guy, so he can, he can be okay out here. So I like him at 50 to 1. Um, I got a, f- a few long shots. Alex Noren is interesting to me at 80 to 1. Nothing real flashy in terms of, performance here or even recent form i just alex noren is just a guy who i don't know i'm 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 waiting on him to kind of come back around like he's won multiple times on the european tour he's contended at the pga tour in big name events including majors with big fields um so i think 80 to 1 in a 70 something man field where really and truly if you're talking about outright winners and guys who legitimately have a chance you're probably talking about 50 guys so you put Noren in there at eighty to one. I like the number there. And then finally, I well, I I won't steal your thunder because I I pretty sure I know one guy you're going to mention. But I'll give you Brendan Grace at one twenty five to one. I think Brendan Grace is a ridiculous number at one twenty five to one. Just a few weeks ago, need we remind you, Brendan Grace nearly won the waste management on Sunday. Finished second to Ricky Fowler. Uh, was in fantastic form, then followed up at the Pebble Beach Pro-Am, I believe, with a 28th place finish. Now, he sucked this past week at the Genesis. Nothing was clicking. But I, for a world-class player, a lot like Norin, with multiple wins on the European Tour, contended at majors, contended at big field events, 125-1 to 1 for a guy who just a few weeks ago nearly won another strong field event in the waste management, I think that is a big-time misprice for DraftKings. Worth a half a unit or so, maybe even a full unit on Brennan Grace. Oh, wow. Going full unit with that. Yeah. Okay. Well, I got three more, and uh, one in the mid range, and that's Rafa Cabrera Bello at 50 to 1. I think he's a great play. You look at it, he's had two straight top 25 finishes, and he gets himself up there in contention. So I think he's going to have to do that again this week, and he's played here well in the past. So I like some Cabrera Bello at 50 to 1. A little bit longer, and this may have been the guy you were talking about that you didn't want to steal my thunder, but that's Emiliano Grio at 100 to 1. I know you so love- well, Pumpkin. Yes, I know you so yes. well, Pumpkin. Oh, gosh. Uh, so I love some Grio at 100 to 1. I think that's a great uh, like Grio. price for him. And then longer odds, some Danny Willett at 150 to 1. This is a guy who's playing well lately. He's had two good finishes recently on tour. I, I, I see you throwing up over there, but you know what? <sighs> Look, he had a couple down years after that Masters win, but he's coming back. He won a tournament here, like I guess it was a couple months ago on the European Tour. I think at 150 to one, I throw a quarter unit on him Ooh. just see what happens. Okay, all right. I, I pretty much agree with all your bets except for Willett. But okay, very nice. There you go. That's the uh, that's Tour Junkies After Dark. This is what you get. 